YouTube, it's Soy Sweet 99 and I'm coming to you with a long overdue video as you can see by the title above or below, wherever it is. This is finally my Panamanian tag video, yay! So I'm just going to get right with the questions, I don't want to hold you guys any longer. But I wanted to show you, I'm wearing my Sade shirt for the video. But I was going to wear this, but it's so hot. So this is a customized sweater that I had done. A hoodie, and it says Panamanian Princess at the back. And I have my flag in the front. So I didn't wear it, so I just left this on. It's a hot day here in New York. So I'm just going to answer some of the questions that you guys have. Someone actually posted a 2022 um, Panamanian tag. So I'm going to answer some of the questions that you have for me. Okay. So it looks like there's 11 questions. I didn't even pre-study this. I'm just answering it as I go. So um, the first is what part of Panama are you or your family from? So my mom is from Colón, Panama, which Panamanians should be familiar with. Colón, it's more like the countryside, sort of. She's from um, Avenida Central, which is like the main street. Any Panamanians out there that's familiar with the Wilcox building, which recently burned down, that's my mother grew up on that building. And um, I have pictures. I'm, I want to try to see if I can insert it in the video. But if not, I'll add them at the end or upload them in my next Panamanian video. So she grew up in that building. Um, it's between Calle Nueve y Calle Diez, if I'm exact, so 9th and 10th Street. And um, it was kind of like a poor area back in those days in Panama where like they weren't, even now, like if you go to Colón, it's like, compared to the city, it's very um, poverty stricken. That's all I can say. Now my father, on the other hand, is from Rainbow City. And Rainbow City, basically, he grew up kind of like near the, um, um, uh, like near the canal area and near the... My thought just left my mind, but he grew up basically going to proper schooling and, you know, he had a better education and things like that. As compared to my mother, who kind of was like more in the country and walking through different streets, sometimes they didn't have shoes and things like that. So they were two people with two different upbringings in Panama. And then my older sister, she was born also in Rainbow City as well. So the rest of us were born here and grew up within the Panamanian culture and growing you know going back and forth to panama so the second question is um when was the last time you were in panama the last time i was in panama was in 20 i thought it was 2018 but it was the end of 2017 about to be well december 2017 and i was supposed to go in 2019 but with the pandemic i haven't made it but i plan to go in december of this year so those of you panamanians or anyone who's been or lived in panama you know november 3rd is independence day so usually around that and that's the last time matter of fact i was there from november to december it's usually really busy that's when panama got its independence from colombia um the third question is name one dish you enjoy the most and why um name one panamanian dish you enjoyed the most and why i have a couple so even though this is like a fritura and that question is on here so i'm gonna just say this is the answer to the same question so i like cari maniolas anybody cari maniolas anybody that know me knows that i love 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 just like i like um i love beef patties too and i like um empanadas and things like that i don't know like um carimaniolas if you look them up and you see what they look like and i want to try to get this video in order so you can see clips of me eating in panama at the restaurant and stuff in my face like with the carimaniolas and my brother's in the background saying that it's good but he's saying it in spanish but it needs more meat so carimaniolas taste good like it's like a combination of yuca and they're fried and you basically pack beef inside of it. You could put other things in it, but a lot of Panamanians mainly put beef. And they're so juicy and so delicious and so freaking good. Oh. Um, another thing that I like is I like sancocho, which is like a soup with chicken, yuca. Um, sometimes you could put corn. And that, I noticed Dominicans and other cultures eat it too. Another one of my favorite foods that I like too is... Um, 
um, um, um, carne guisada con arroz. So it's like beef stew, like beef, like well stewed beef. And then I like it with white rice on the side. So those are my favorite things to eat. And I'm getting hungry just talking about it because literally it's like almost 3 a.m. in the morning here and I'm just talking. And for some reason I felt like doing the video tonight because I was with my siblings and we were talking about Panama and planning our vacation. Okay, the fourth question is, name one household item that best describes your culture. Okay, I'm gonna show you something that are, is in, and Panamanians, you could back me up with this, that's in almost, every like real Panamanian household this right here and I took it off my wall just so you could see it this right here since I was younger like this is like literally like hanging in all my relatives house from my mom's side my dad's side like my cousins everybody and this right here is um this is actually a bridge in Panama I have a picture in front of it I want to try to insert it also so you can see it in a side-by-side -side split. But this is um, Puente de las Americas, and that's a picture of the bridge. And basically, this is the Panama Canal down here. Okay? So that's a popular household item. Um, I have this bag, too. I actually bought this bag when I was in Panama. I love it. No matter how dirty it gets, I'm going to continue to keep rocking my bag. I don't care. I wear this for... The Panamanian Parade here in New York, they have one um, that's coming up in October. It's usually in Brooklyn, like around October, uh, near um, Memor uh, Columbus Day time. I keep saying Memorial. Well, around my birthday, because my birthday is October 9th. Um, second question is, do you speak Spanish? If so, say a phrase or two. Yes, I do. And I noticed lately my Spanish is getting bad because I've been around so many Americans. And I haven't even really been within my culture of speaking every day. And I've been home. And usually I'm a translator at work. So I've been beating myself up. And it's like, if you don't use your Spanish, you're going to lose it. And it's true. When people say, if you don't use it, lose it. It's so freaking true like my parents like I'll answer back in English like and I noticed that they're starting to speak more English as well and um so like I noticed so like now I'm trying to turn on novelas and things like that and listen them to them so I could um I'm trying to think of what to say um mis padres son de Panama pero yo nací aquí en Nueva York um la fecha de hoy es uh, I don't know what it is el What day is it today? <laughs> I'm trying to say, I'm trying to look at the date today. Oh, 21 de Agosto. And um, uh, what else? Tengo tres hermanos, una hermana y dos hermanos. So basically, I just said that um, my parents are from Panama. I was born in New York. Um, I said what time it was. And I mean, well, what the date was. And I also said that, um, my brothers, I have three brothers and sisters, and then I broke it down to how many brothers and how many sisters. I don't know when I'm randomly speaking. I got to be in conversation, and then I'll speak longer for you guys, or if you ask me to have conversation um, in a video. Um, okay, what is your favorite fritura choice? That is question number six. And I answered that question already because my favorite fritura is carimaniolas. But I also like... Um, plantains too fried plantains as well um okay do you prefer okay so this is for panamanians panamanians would know this do you rather prefer a 99 el rey or machetazo now these are three stores in panama and both of them sell this all three of them sell discounted things um, they're very popular store. They're all they're all over in different areas. Whether this is a city, whether you go to different towns, um, and I would say El Machetazo, which is always my favorite store. Why is because there I could get like like for an example when I'm in Panama, I love to go in a store where I could get like usually in the basement in the Machetazo, you can go down and you, it's food, and then like upstairs you can still get your. It's kind of like going in Walgreens here, like in the U.S. So you have your hair products, like I'll get my shampoo, my conditioner, like if I didn't travel with it on the plane. So all, I don't know, I just love the store. And then most of them are like multi-levels as well. 
but I don't know. I, I like um, El no, Noventa y Nueva as well, too. So I don't. It's a toss up. But question eight one to three things about Panama that non Panamanians would not know. Um, I would say the first thing is, is that a lot of people look like me. <laughs> Cause some people don't know like if they don't know and then some people i notice too like i might i meet people from different areas here like other hispanics like mexicans or central americans that should that are near to panama and they'll be like oh they speak english over there and i'll be like oh no and i'll be like and i'll be like let's say i come up to them and then i was like Do I have Espanol? and they'll be like oh yeah and they'll be like let's say they're talking back and they'll be like oh you're from panama panama they speak english when you go there, people are speaking Spanish, although there are people that speak English as well. But when you go, people just will speak to you in Spanish and assume that you speak Spanish. So that's one thing that people look like me. And there are also people that are a lot darker than I am, kinkier hair, and there are people that are lighter too. But there's a, I think, I would say that there's a medium brown complexion as, you know, like the main complexion. Um, another thing that I would let people know too that probably don't know is that you can use American money because a lot of Americans probably don't know that you can use American money in Panama. You can go to the bank, the ATM and things like that and pull out your American money from your American bank. Um, when I'm in Panama, I usually use, I have my phone, it's over here somewhere, like a little Digicel phone, a prepaid phone, and I get like a prepaid card. I try to have all these things together so I can show you guys things, but I'm going to do a video strictly just to show you everything and the things that you can use um, in Panama. Um, so yeah, and the third thing would be uh, that there's really a canal. Because there's a lot of people that hear the Panama Canal and they really don't realize that there is a canal that ships pass through because you have to realize that Panama is next to Colombia. Colombia is in South America. Panama is in Central America and they're connecting. So there has to be a canal so people don't have to go all the way over around South America to get to the other side where the Pacific Ocean is. So there really is a canal there. That's the only three things that I could think of. Um, uh... Let's see. What music reminds you of your culture? I would say, for some reason, when I listen to soca, when I'm listening to soca or calypso music, it reminds me of Panama. I don't know. Like some people would say reggaeton or salsa too. I would say salsa. Not so much bachata because that wasn't really like big. You know, like back in the days, even though you'll hear it now, but I think I would say there's a club that a lot of Panamanians go to here in New York and Brooklyn called the Michelle. I grew up going there with my parents. It's really Michelle's, but we pronounce it Michelle. And um, it's on Albemarle Road in Brooklyn and Flatbush in the Flatbush area. And um, I, would, I don't know, like there's a time in the night, like you'll hear a lot of salsa, but there's a time, a period of time in the night where you'll hear like a lot of um, soca and calypso because a lot of people have the West Indian roots. So it's like the soca, for some reason, like when I'm around Trinidadians or Bayesians or any other group and I hear like the soca and I hear it, it just makes me like, for some reason, think of home and it makes me think of Panama. I don't know. Um, yeah, and South, I would say. Okay, the last question is this. What is your favorite Panamanian song or artists now because I am directly related to Panamanian royalty I think I mentioned briefly in another video but I didn't say who for any older Panamanians that might know um, my uncle is Francisco Graves little Francisco Graves who sung a song that was called Nesia de mi corazón and the song was in um, 19 something they came out with it it was so long ago and my father who's franklin graves he wrote the song and um that is my favorite panamanian song and my favorite panamanian artist i would say is my is my um basically is my uncle and i would say that um hold on i'm gonna try to sing some of the words my uncle is my favorite artist because I was going to name other artists like El General, 
Um, I remember when he first came out on a kind of reggaeton vibe, uh, Panamanians was feeling it. We like loved the music, we loved what he was talking about and things like that. I'm trying to keep this video pretty short to get to the point for you guys. But um, um, so basically, um, I want to sing, um, basically the song goes, Necia de mi corazón. That's how the chorus goes. Ah. Whoa. Mi corazón. So I want to make sure I have all the um Yo sé que tú. That's like the first verse. I'm singing some of it, but you can look it up. Type in little Francisco Graves and Nesia N E C I A de mi corazón is the song. Yo sé que tú eres milagro de mi vida basically it's like saying you're the miracle of my life yo sé que tú eres dueña de mi corazón so basically so and then then he just goes on so he's basically the song is basically saying like the girl he's so in love and she just is the ruler of his heart the, like the, the keeper of his heart the landlord of his heart she's the miracle of his life it's a really really good love song so i would say that you, it should be on apple music or you can type it in but it is on youtube you'll see the video but i'm going to keep this short and i hope you guys enjoyed my panamanian tag and um i know in the old one we used to talk with a panamanian accent so people can hear how you sound if you speak like a panamanian so i'm going to talk a little bit like all my parents does talk sometimes when we just sit down and also have conversations but the panamanian accent can be a little bit different here and there depending on how you sound when you're speaking with people but i want to say adios to all of my subscribers and please subscribe to my video it's late i'm tired i'm just having a little fun with you guys Mwah. please subscribe to my channel soy sweet 99 thank you bye ¿Dónde está tía? En Capiro y me gusta la, el ambiente porque hay muchos pajaritos bonitos. Sí. Y la, 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 la gente de aquí son bien buenas con nosotros. Me qué bueno. La, la comunidad. Mira, uh, qué bueno. Ah, ah, yo no. Soyica, ¿te gusta el restaurante? Sí, me gusta la comida. Y mi, what did I order? You haven't even eaten yet. <laughs> 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 y mi tutti frutti. Mm. Y mi tutti frutti. Y mi familia. Y todo. Y la carimañola, ¿qué tal la carimañola? La carimañola sabe bien. Pero necesita más carne. Oh. <laughs> Yo no estoy acostumbrado a comerme una carimañola así. Pero la comida, ya llegó la comida. Rogelio, saluda. Oh, that's hey, a guys. red potato salad. Like yes. Yes. Sure you Rachel. Know. Part, okay. One year video. I have a video.